And now it is time for your main event. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I go to the bathroom and puke? I'm, I'm tired of this guy. What does Channing Thomas possibly have to say and prove it after he got laid out and embarrassed by Matt Tremont? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't have a Beyond Wrestling show without world class Channing Thomas. Now, can you? I think we can. We already had him, didn't we? I, I'd like to do that going forward. Well, you can't. You can't simply do it. That Dodger, Matt Tremont, decided to wrestle my poor manager, Cindy Bacabella, and sent it to the hospital. And that also let... Oh, he's in the hospital? That's great. I mean, that's... You don't cheer for an old man going to a hospital. That's not right. I do. That's not... You bloodthirsty vagrants disgust me, honestly. What? Anyways, this main event is not happening, Alyssa. It's not happening because there's no more killers and beyond anymore. Yeah, let's, let's do it. I'm giving a thumbs up to Alyssa. Introducing first to my right. From uh, currently on loan from the Dallas wrestling office, weighing in at 227 pounds, world class Channing Thomas. And his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 195 pounds, hot sauce Tracy. Williams! You want a killer? Here is one. I mean, how many legends has he faced over the years here beyond wrestling alone? I mean, the, the, the depiction of the decapitation on the back of the jacket is all you need to know about Hot Sauce Tracy Williams mentality. A competitor that uh, any time that we have the option of hosting one of their matches is certainly a treat. Tracy Williams under exclusive contract to Ring of Honor for two years, unleashed on the scene last year, and he has been laying in some pretty severe beatings at Beyond Wrestling over the past couple months. Collar and elbow tie-up here in the center of the ring. Two big boys in there going at it, especially Channing Thomas. As much as I don't like him, quite frankly, and his manager, he has gotten himself into excellent condition over the last year. Yeah, but we never even see what that looks like. I mean, we saw a glimpse of it like, in the Iron Man match, but even still, Bacabella was involved in some capacity. If Bacabella's in the hospital right now, this may be the first time that we've really seen Channing Thomas, honest to God, on his own here tonight against Tracy Williams. And if he wants a killer, he's got him. I mean, Channing Thomas is saying it's time. Tracy Williams has no time for talk. We saw the match that he had with Davey Richards at Heavy Lies the Crown. Victorious over one half of the Wolves. Can we get our timekeeper, uh, Wildhound, to call all the local hospitals to see if Bacabella's actually in the hospital right now? You want to go pull the plug? Maybe. Don't give me any ideas that I might enjoy. Call her out. Oh, excuse me, Irish whipping at the corner. I'm all discombobulated. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just, your mind is elsewhere. You're thinking about the demise of Sydney Bacabella. I really am. That's where my head is. As now, Tracy Williams goes into the corner. And how about some forearms and some vicious ones at that to Channing Thomas. Risking disqualification, the official, Gina pulling Tracy Williams away. Now going back in, pulling oh. those tights. But that separation was all that Channing Thomas needed. He's gonna go for that cradle. And his feet, on the, feet ropes. on the ropes. And look at that. Well, Gina signaling that Channing Thomas needed to get his feet off the ropes. Stopping the count and now getting in the face of Channing Thomas. There is a slap Can we say that chest. one on commentary? They're calling him Channing, Channing Dumbass. <laughs> go right oh. ahead. That was a variation of a blue thunder bomb as Tracy Williams was looking for maybe a sharpshooter, avoids contact, and once again on the drop down, I don't think that Tracy Williams is gonna put his feet on the ropes. 
tries a chop. Channing Thomas with a double chop to the throat. And just like that, World Class shows he's a World Class low life by going cheap to get the advantage over Tracy Williams. You know, Paul, I hate to say it, but we have the Beyond Institute of Professional Wrestling classes every Tuesday and Wednesday here at wrestling uh, at the White Eagle in Worcester, Massachusetts. And obviously we have a class of people that have never delved into the realm of professional wrestling, and sometimes we do have those professionals that drop in as well. And I hate to say it, but I think Channing Thomas might be the head of the class. Yeah, he definitely is a standout in that group that shows up. And it's very sad for me to know that Channing Thomas is learning from such great craftsmen such as Ken Doan and Thomas Santel because he's really just learning how to be a better cheater, it seems like. No, 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 no. I think it's the exact opposite. And I think at some point they're going to smarten him up to the point where he knows that he can stand on his own without Sidney Bacabella. Well, easier said than done. Well, he's going to do it right now, though. He's going to do it right now if he wants to get past Tracy Williams. Well... It seems like he's had the advantage by not changing his tune, so we shall see. The as short crowd, arms, the knees into the bread basket. As you said, the crowd coming alive for Tracy Williams. A knee of his own. He's gonna grab that wrist. Have control, dump Channing Thomas on his neck. Grabbing that wrist so Channing couldn't get his hand up to try to defend his own head. And as you said, two big boys, I mean, sometimes the TV screen does not do justice to the size of a competitor like Channing Thomas or Tracy Williams, two certified heavyweights beating the hell out of each other right now. And instead of going for a pin, it looks like, once again, maybe a sharpshooter attempt. Tracy Williams has got Channing Thomas flopping around on the ring. Channing fights it off once again. Boot to the chin. Going to go for a Fisherman suplex. Oh, beautiful bridge. Can he keep his opponent down? Referee slightly out of position, but nevertheless, you saw Tracy Williams grasping at the hand of Channing Thomas to make sure that he could not hold onto that bridge. That was smarter and more resourceful than using his energy to kick out Paul. Now Channing Thomas standing tall in the center of that ring and enjoying the fruits of his labor here against Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Oh, man. Nasty collision with that back elbow. Stop Channing Thomas right in his tracks. Took oh. too long. We know that Tracy Williams like to utilize a DDT on the top rope from this position. Sometimes a pile driver gets met with double overhand chops. And now using the head of his opponent to stabilize himself. I wouldn't do that if I was Channing Thomas. He does not look comfortable on the ropes, Paul. Hot sauce. We've seen this plenty of times. Drops him face and head first on that top turnbuckle. And there is the oh. lariat to follow, and he landed on his head. Channing Thomas, how is he not paralyzed right now? Up into the fireman's carry. And Death the Death Valley, Valley driver. driver. Once That's again, it. oh, he's got tunnel vision. He's getting the sharpshooter victory one way or another. Channing Thomas, can he fight it off? No, finally, Channing Thomas. And what's happening here? He's oh, grabbing he's the official. Grabbing, he is grabbing Gina Monti's head. Oh, what the hell is this? Ow! And Bacabella throwing powder in the face of Channing. And what the hell? I thought he was in the hospital. Oh, and an inside cradle. And Channing Thomas steals a win. Here is your winner, world class Channing. Thomas! And clearly not in the hospital. Not even the same wig. As Channing Thomas steals a victory over Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Well, world class not going to be leaving Mike Snow with the IWTV Independent Wrestling Championship. But they will leave Channing Thomas victorious over Tracy Williams. Can we get to tonight's scheduled main event?